Surprises happen for us all, some happy and some not so. Nothing comes as a surprise to God. I receive Christianity magazine each month. Here's the June edition, which includes two articles about racism. COVID-19 has revealed racial inequalities and the church must respond. And one article about forgiveness. Now this magazine was printed before the killing of George Floyd and all that has happened since. Reverend Anthony Thompson, whose wife was killed in the racially motivated murder during the Charleston church shooting, explains how forgiveness can break down cultural, racial and denominational barriers. Exactly five years ago today, on the evening of the 17th of June 2015, Myra Thompson was leading a Bible study at Emmanuel Church in Charleston, South Carolina, and a white male, Dylan Roof joined the group. He wasn't known by any of the 12 attending the study, but was welcomed warmly by them all. He sat quietly as Myra shared, and an hour later, as they finished in prayer and whilst everyone's eyes were closed, Roof took out his concealed gun and opened fire. Eight of the church members died at the scene and one died later. Allow me to read you some of the article. When Roof was brought before a bail hearing, Anthony had been reluctant to attend and was surprised when the judge read out each victim's name and asked relatives if they wanted to say anything. Anthony was determined not to speak, but then found God telling him to get up. And so he got up. I said to God, whatever it is you have to say, you better say it because I don't have anything to say. So come on, don't embarrass me. He reminded me that I was his child and I was a sinner, just like Dylan. And I'm saying to myself, you've got to be kidding. I'm not going to tell people I'm a sinner. If that's what you want me to do, I'm going to sit down. But he just kept on coming. And so by the time I got up to the podium, I'm thinking, yes, you know I'm a sinner, just like Dylan. And I should be able to forgive him, just like God forgave me. And so I said, son, I forgive you. My family forgives you. Ruth kept his gaze down throughout the hearing. But when Anthony uttered the name of Jesus, he looked right up into the reverend's face. I was able to really pierce into his eyes, almost into his very soul, and I saw a hurt young man. As he was walking back to his seat, Anthony's body started shaking. From my neck, my shoulders, my arms, like something was going through my fingers. I could feel something leaving me but I couldn't see it. And when it was all over, I had this peace like none other. I mean, he took away the pain I was feeling. He took away the anger and hate. He just took it all away. It was gone. So I know that forgiveness heals. I know what forgiveness can do to a person's life. It changes your life dramatically. When asked what he hoped the ongoing legacy of those who lost their lives in the shooting, Anthony replies that we come together as a people and define each other not by the colour of our skin, not by our status in life, not by our occupation, but just by who we are. Forgiveness is a choice and when we choose to forgive, we allow God to do the judging. The Lord's Prayer says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Who do you need to forgive today so that you can receive the healing in your heart like Anthony did? My prayer for you today is that you would personally know that you are totally loved and forgiven by our gracious God and so are able to forgive others. Amen.